Hello, hi everyone. Uh, this is Midnight here, and I thought I'd just throw you guys this little short video on uh, what two new softwares that I'm using to edit my videos and edit my photos. Um, uh, first off, uh, before we get into the video, I just want to say uh, if you're very new to this channel and you just stumble upon this video, uh, please. Um, Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you will get updates on my future videos okay and also subscribing to also join the pack okay for, so for the first video for the first uh, editing software that i use um i just want to let everybody know that i use corel i've been using corel since 2014 it is a wonderful good editing software and it has updated uh the last one that i was using was uh was um uh 2019 now 2020 is out so we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on it and then i'm going to show you guys the two softwares that i am definitely using okay so here we go so anyway this everyone is corel um this is Corel 2020 and this is the welcome page and this is what you do when this is how it looks when you start it up uh, you have get started you have what's new you have tutorials uh, you have get more and celebration savings Not popping up, and then you have the premium size show template bundle, uh, which I believe I have that, but I don't know why it's showing up like that. So, anyway, this is the uh, get started menu. So, you want to click um, new project, or you can basically this is something new that they've added here to the new software. You can actually click open project or start new project or you could just go ahead and click edit and it brings you to the um the editing screen which is i would have to say is a lot better um they definitely made the text and everything else bigger uh the timelines and everything else is still the same um but i do notice a huge huge difference in this like the music that i use um videos um those are my previous videos the music i use my intros huskies let's plays this is uh stuff that i've been using out there and if you guys are ever curious on what software i use this is the software that i use to do my videos um, um it's very easy you can click this to add uh stuff projects and stuff that you actually want to use and uh, to add a video is very easy. You just click on this box right here. Uh, it, it pops up your thing and, and then you can just click and hold that and then boom, it pops up right there. And then dragging the stuff into the timeline is very easy. You just click, hold, drop. Very easy. Um, and this is where you can like click, uh, uh, double click and this is how you can like edit the stuff right here this is the editing software that i've been using since 2014 which has been six years uh but i've been using this software and i do get the update on it all the time so uh that's you no know, but now the next software that i use uh to edit photos is this one this is a corel paint shop pro uh, 2020 ultimate and this is what I use uh, this is the home screen um, you got learn you have learn it's not popping up uh, get more um, let's see Brazil zoom a and then you have you get started mode so anyway like I said to get started you can either open or you can go click edit um, and it should let's see it's taking a while to pop up there we go and this is where you can actually stop all you gotta do is drop and drag a photo in here and you can like start editing 
Like, uh, let's see. I'm going to open up one. I'm going to add something that I just recently did on here. Um, so, you might notice uh, a little bit. You guys might notice a little bit different texture to the pictures and stuff. But this is what I'm using now to edit uh, my my uh, my um, my thumbnails now. I used to use PicMonkey, but the only problem with that is that I had to pay for 12 bucks a month to be able to use that. And if I didn't pay the 12 bucks a month, I couldn't edit a thumbnail. And there was one time I didn't have any enough money, and it wouldn't it, it let me edit it. It just wouldn't let me save it. So I said, you know what? Why don't I just invest my money into a, a photo editor so I can just or, or edit to my heart's content and don't have to worry about it. So that's what I did. I bought this, and uh, you can edit. this. You can do so much more with this, uh, but um, this is a really cool uh, video editing, and all your tools are right here that I can use to edit photos. So... Um, Basically, what I do is, uh, uh, if I want to go to edit, uh, I go to op uh, open now, and when I usually add my um, my um, my thing on, I just click that, and that drops right there. Okay, and then I go and I click copy. Okay, go back to this file, and then I click uh paste as new layer and it pops up and then to move it i'm going to click uh pick now and then i can drag and drop and put this right here and that's how i usually do my um editing and i this is how i edit my photos and then i'll, I'll put my thing uh right here and and this and this but i've I, I've tampered with this for a little bit, but it's fun to use. It's not hard. It's very easy, and I like it. So those are the two new softwares that I am using, guys, to edit my photos. And what I'm using to record is uh, is this, which is um, multi-camera um, multi uh, capture light. This is what I'm using right here, and as you guys can see it. That that this is what I'm using to uh, capture um, the photos and stuff. Now, uh, I hope that's been a very entertaining video for you guys, and um, I hope uh, you. I hope that, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I hope this has been a very entertaining video for you guys. Thanks for watching this, uh, and thanks for subscribing. Please subscribe, and please hit that bell notification so you can get updates on when I upload the video. And uh, may the spirit of the wolf be with you until we meet again next time in paradise. Okay, everyone. Bye.